Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. I'm doing a college player today, and that is Sony Michelle of the Georgia Bulldogs, headed on into the college football final against the Alabama Crimson Tide. Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb actually just recently broke the record for most combined rushing yards by a duo in FBS history, by a running backs that is, or by running backs that is, and again, has had an incredible year, over 1,000 yards rushing, 16 touchdowns. It's crazy that you have another guy like Nick Chubb who's also putting up big numbers for Georgia running football. We saw what Michelle did against Oklahoma. That was kind of ridiculous if you think about it. A, you know, four touchdown game, over 200 all-purpose yards in that double overtime victory. Average 16.5 yards of attempt on the ground. I mean, the explosiveness he showed in that game alone really warrants some great respect. When you talk about the running backs heading into the 2018 draft, I'm assuming he will. You know, who knows? He is, I mean, he, what do I you mean I'm assuming he will? He is going to. <laughs> He's a senior. I thought for some reason that he was a junior, but he is going to be heading on into the draft, which is pretty awesome because that just makes the draft of running backs even more loaded than it already is. I mean, you have Nick Chubb, Darius Geis, Saquon Barkley, even the guys from Alabama, Damian Harris, Bo Scarborough. Uh, you got a lot of talented guys out there to pick up at the running back position. That's why it's going to be interesting to see what teams do this year at the running back position and where they draft. Ronald Jones is second uh, out of out of USC. So there's plenty of talent to go around. Even the guy at SDSU, Rashad Penny. So getting on and back into Sonny Michelle and Madden, or it just I guess his impact in general. The interesting thing about Michelle to me is the combination of speed, strength, and just ability to cut because the explosiveness from this guy is, is incredible but also the size that he has to be able to run over some guys isn't something that you see all the time and, and that's what makes him I, I guess maybe not so coveted because he's not a guy that a lot of people have really talked about that much I mean he's obviously been a great player but I think he's been overshadowed by the fact that he is a part of a, a duo you know the dynamic duo of, of Chubb and himself thunder, a little bit of thunder and lightning action there but there's, he just doesn't get a shine as much because he doesn't have more than like 15 carries a game ever. You know, he's only had more than 15 carries a game twice this last season against Appalachian State in the first game of the year in South Carolina. And that was where both 16 carry games. So it hasn't had a lot of shine in terms of running the football. And you would think he would be a, a guy that you would utilize in the passing game, except this past game against Oklahoma was basically combined for how many receptions he had all year. He had four receptions against Oklahoma and had five the entire season. So really interesting player. And again, it, it, it's crazy that he has that combination of speed and strength. It makes me really excited as a Seahawks fan. Not because that, not because we're gonna necessarily get Michelle, but I like that the class is more loaded. So we have options if we need to go out there and get a running back. Although I'm, I'm, I'm sort of content with Mike Davis and Chris Carson at the moment. Would not be surprised, however, to see us draft a rookie running back. Sonny Michelle, is he gonna be the one? Who knows? But he sure has some explosiveness, and what he did against Oklahoma, I don't think he's going to do that against Alabama because just they seem so stout defensively and have so many NFL prospects all around that defense. But would like to see him get into some open space and make things happen. So getting on into his ratings, definitely going to increase the speed, agility, and acceleration at 90s. I, I know that may seem maybe high based on what I've done with my creation tutorial videos on players that are in college, but I really think he is that explosive and that fast. So I think he deserves that respect in terms of speed. I do kind of boost a lot of the stats. His trucking probably should not be at 80. Should probably be at 75 or something. But again, I like to boost the rookies because it just makes me excited to see that they are going to be in the NFL next year and add just more elements to people's offenses. Like we've seen this year with McCaffrey, Alvin Kamara, uh, just some great players, even on the defensive end. Marshawn Lattimore obviously has done well. TJ Watt, plenty of guys that have really made an impact for teams. And it's a really exciting time for people because if you're a team like the Saints or whatever, you know, whoever, you get to get two rookies and they're already in prime position right now to make a great playoff run. So it, it's a really exciting time. That's why I like making these college players. So who knows if Michelle will ever make that type of impact for a team, but he's certainly making an impact with Georgia, him and Nick Chubb running the football down Oklahoma's throat, heading on into their college football playoff finale against the Alabama Crimson Tide. And that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 18 content along with these player creation tutorial videos and the franchise series that I have recently began. 
with the Seahawks online in the TFGO franchise. Going to be awesome. Going to start uploading some videos and actually start streaming. I'm going to start including my Twitch link in the description and try to let you guys know when I do stream so you guys can stay and tune in for it. Once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yep, thanks for watching.